On a cold December morning in 1919, just after 4 a.m., Emma Goldman, her companion Alexander Berkman, and more than 200 other foreign-born radicals were roused from their Ellis Island dormitory beds. In the freezing darkness, the deportees began a journey into exile. Thrown out of the United States for her opposition to the First World War, and especially for her political beliefs, Goldman claimed she was proud to be selected for the honor of deportation. Privately, she was devastated. One does not live in a country 34 years and find it easy to go. I found my spiritual birth here. All I know, I have gained here. Through the portal, I could see the great city receding into the distance. It was my beloved city, the metropolis of the new world. For nearly 30 years, Goldman taunted mainstream America with her outspoken attacks on government, big business, and war. Goldman condemned capitalism, denounced marriage, and crusaded for birth control. The newspapers called her a modern Joan of Arc, a heretic, a woman possessed of uncompromising single-mindedness. Personally, she could be obnoxious. She could be ruthless, she could be vindictive. A plain Russian Jewish girl, but with uh, some magnetism. I think she was a serious political theorist who actually thought through an anarchist movement you could create this kind of self-governing world. Whenever the state became too powerful, when it became too intrusive in people's life, when it became too cruel, Emma's voice was there. Anarchism was often associated with violence and terrorism, and that's the image that people have today. I think her whole life was operatic, uh, meaning flamboyantly larger than life. Goldman's story is one of passionate defiance. The story of a life dedicated to free speech, free thought, free love. The story of an exceedingly dangerous woman. I think she was um, a difficult person, maybe a dangerous woman, uh, to everybody. She was totally unacceptable. Goldman crossed three seas to reach the promised land. In 1885, the feisty 16-year-old Russian girl had just escaped an arranged marriage by threatening to drown herself in the Neva River. America, she hoped, would be her salvation. A land of hope, a land of opportunity a land of infinite possibility. When you come into this country, all things are possible for you. All things are possible. You can forget the past. You can have a brave new world. And for a radical like Emma Goldman, a revolutionary like Emma Goldman, the volatility of this country seemed like a great opportunity for um, creating a genuinely new world, um, uh, for creating whatever was going to come after uh, capitalism. And I think that she entered uh, this world, as did many of uh, uh, sort of politicized people, um, political radicals, coming here feeling that this was the place where the revolution could be born. I was 20 years old. My entire possessions consisted of five dollars and a sewing machine. I had no friends, but I carried the address of the Freiheit, an anarchist newspaper. Within a day of her arrival, Goldman walked into Sachs Cafe.
she's walking into a place one can imagine it. Tumultuous, full of people, writers, working men, printers, people working in textile shops, all there after a day's work from a political meeting, talking about politics, the hubbub, the smell of beer, the amazing number of languages being spoken. She came home when she came to Saks. Sitting at a nearby table was Alexander Berkman. Berkman, called Sasha by his friends, had been in the country only a year. He would become the still point of her life. He was quite standoffish at first. He didn't think women uh, were reliable revolutionaries. Uh, he thought women attended radical meetings in order to look for men. Uh, and uh, once they found men, they were gone and took the men with them. <laughs> um, he's young. He's uh, ferocious. He's charming. He's dedicated. He, he lives and breathes anarchism. She's aware that something's happening in her. She may not even be aware of it. Maybe we're saying too much. You've suddenly changed, and you're there. And now you are with other people. You're not alone. It's been a fantastic time for her.